What's going on, everybody? It's going for the latest news, and we're going to start off with AEW. I was late with AEW, catching up with them. But, you know, with them, I mean, like I said, I like Orange Cassidy, Claudia, you know, real talented. Um, the Dog and Kyle's family, I'm pretty sure I like what they got going on with, uh, you know, Kenny Omega, but, you know, Adam Cole and uh, MJF. But it's just like, great wrestling, just not much story still, you know, it's just, not to take away from AEW, but, you know, the, the you know, show was decent, you know, it, it could have been better, but, just, the only thing we got good, good got going is just, the, you know, Adam Cole thing and his mask, man, that we still trying to figure out who it is, you know, um, yeah, the mask guy and Christian Cage and, um, Adam Copeland, and then now they all got Rick Flair over there, who, who, um, pretty much signed a multi-million deal <clears throat> with AEW. I, I want to know what that's all about. Um, that's, you know, what is Red Flair actually you know, going to be doing, you know, at, at his age? You know, I'm, I'm hearing he's supposed to have a match with Sting. Now, I don't know if that's supposed to be, like, part of Sting's uh, retirement match or what. Or maybe both guys are going to retire. Within that match, I don't know, but I don't, I, 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 I want to know what that's all about, you know. I'm going to get his results of the show. In this case, you know, you guys haven't seen it. Um, you know, I like the quick, you know, quick short results of it, you know, what happened, promos. You know, you, know how I got, you know how I do, you know. But I know, like I always tell you guys, you know, you a little late, a week late, a couple of days late, you know. Always run the show back and watch for yourself, you know. But this is just my opinion on it, and you know, I'm glad you guys come here and you know check me out and hear me out. AW, like I said, is just great wrestling, just not enough story, you know. It's just, it's just I don't know. And then I'm hearing about you know they not you know making much ticket sales. They having seat fillers, but I heard you know, most promotions do stuff like that, but I'm handing a lot for um, AEW, and, and Tony Khan is just so obsessed with, you know, with, with what people saying about the views and stuff like that I'm hearing, um, but yeah, um, like I said, AEW, and then it could be a little better, you know, then I'm hearing MJF, he's, you know, almost out of there, like, his contract about to expire, so, um, I'm hearing they, they're gonna resign him MJF, but... Uh, they, they got to think fast. Um, was he over? You know, he probably. I think he posted 58 days. I guess that's how long he got. You know, before his contract um, expired. Like I was saying about the Ric Flair thing, it's just like multi-million deal contract. Like what multi-year deal? Uh, I don't know exactly what you know what that means, but for, for Ric Flair age is just. Like, what is he going to be, like, doing, you know? Um, I mean, I don't know. Because I heard his last match that he, I didn't watch it, but the last match he, he supposedly had was just, it wasn't, I heard it wasn't bad, but it wasn't good either, you know? So, I mean, I don't, I'm not too sure how Rick, how old Rick Foot is. I think he's about, like, 70s, close to 80s, maybe. But, yeah, shout out to Ric Flair, though, you know what I mean, for getting that bag, you know. But, uh, MJF, man, they they got to think fast. Because they, 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 he the best thing going for them right now, you know. That's no, not to take away from the other talent, but MJF is the man over there. I mean, let's just face it, he is. He, he He's a really, literally the face that run the place, you know. Not to take away from AJ Styles thing, but. Yeah, he, he's the best thing over there right now. So, if I was them, I'd give him whatever he wants, you know. I'd give him whatever he wants. But is, is Vince going to challenge Guta for the championship? Um, Miz definitely deserves it. At least opportunity, you know what I mean? Like, Guta the man right now. But Miz, Miz's been real patient. He's been, you know, putting a lot of people over. You know, I'm not saying he won't beat Guta, but Miz definitely deserves an um, opportunity. Um, Roman, on the other hand, is supposed to be taking some time off. I heard he's not even going to be a survivor series. Um, he's taking time off, but, I mean, wouldn't it be wise to just have him 
you lose the title till you take time off. I, I, I don't know till, even though we we already speculating that LA Knight is not gonna he's not gonna win tonight. He's, he's not winning tonight. You know what I mean? But how are they gonna keep that fight going for LA Knight? That you know, as far as on the hype tops we keep on, you know. But yeah, and other, um NXT was. It was a decent show. Um, Trick Williams is on to Carmelo Hayes. Like he pretty much know he ain't right, and you could tell on the look on Carmelo Hayes' face that he know what's up, man. But Trick Williams know what's up. Um, you just like I said, you could just look at Carmelo Hayes' face and he can tell he know what's up, you know. But uh, yeah, that, um, NXT was decent. It was a decent show. Um. But we going to um, jump into I think Monday Night Raw. I don't, I don't know if I'm sorry, guys. I don't know if I um, posted the right um, results, but no, no, I think it is NXT results. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the but show was um decent. It was um like I said, Camilla, um Trick Williams is on to Camilla Hayes. Um, I think Jay, I believe Jay Cargill was in, in attendance as well. She showed face again, I believe. Um, like, like I said, it wasn't really not much to remember from this much week of wrestling. You know, it wasn't like they could have did. It could have been like way better for um, the build up towards um, uh, Crown Jewel. You know. But they did the best they could with the best that they could work with. So I get it. You know what I mean? I ain't going to be one of those guys that complain too much. You know, because I do, you know, check it out every, you know, every week. So, you know, shout out to them or whatever. But these are the results of the show. Um, like, I, like I said, you guys haven't checked it out. Or, you know, before uh, Crown Jewel start, we still got time. I think it starts. Um... It starts pretty early. Um, I think, jeez, one p.m. Eastern, uh, ten Western. I, I believe it, it, it starts pretty early. So, I mean, you still got I know me. You guys is up early like I am. Good morning, everyone. Sorry, just being rude, but yeah, definitely go like check out at least the highlights. You know, they got the highlights up you know, on YouTube as well. You know what I mean? It's quick, it's fast, it gets, you know, um, you watch, you know, right to the nitty gritty, you know, highlights is all over YouTube, you just gotta search them up, you know what I mean, so, um, yeah, at least it's a, um, it's a crown jewel, if you, if you kinda don't, know, you know, know what's going on, you know, don't feel like reading, there's a lot of reading with this thing here, and maybe you can skim through it though, but, yeah, but, um, wrestling so far this week, you know, AEW, like I said, with them, just need better storytelling, you know, the wrestling is tremendous, what those guys do in the ring is, I'm not taking that away from them, they, 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 you know, they spot on with that, it's just, there's no storytelling, you know, it's just not, not much of a story there, but, you know, besides the mask, like I said, the mask man, who they did is MJF, um, um, I heard rumors about plot twists of the thing that it could be CM Plot. I don't think, I don't think that's the case. That would be, that would be a, um, a, a huge plot twist if, if that is um, CM Punk. That would definitely be a big uh, plot twist, but I don't, I don't think so. I don't think it's CM Punk, but yeah, it definitely could be MJF though. It, it definitely could be him, um, but. We, we, I guess we'll find out as the week's going with the um with AEW, cause yeah, like I said, that's like the best thing they got going for them is 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 that and and, 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 and Christian Cage, and, um and, and Adam Copeland, you know that's what they, they really got and everybody gunning at the MJF, like it's just it's crazy right now. Like everybody going at the MJF right now. He he got his hands full full. You know what I mean? But that's like the best thing they got going. But like I said, all oh, MJF's contract is coming to an end. So they might wanna they might wanna give him that man whatever he wants. I would <clears throat> you know. I definitely would, you know. So uh I like what they got going with on Chris Jericho and on Kenny Omega great tag team. Also, uh 
Shout out to uh, Montez Ford and Bianca Belair <coughs> for allegedly um, possibly getting uh, their own show, I believe, um, real soon. Um, shout out to them power couple right there. You know, uh, they supposed to, I think they supposed to get like a little show, like, like I guess how Miz and Maurice um, have or something like that. But like, I guess following up with their life or whatever. But shout out to them. Um, yeah, uh, SmackDown, leading to Crown Jewel was, SmackDown was decent, it could have, like I said, to the own last, last night, you know, shout out to Bianca Belair and, um, Bailey for main event, they, they put on a hell of a match, um, yeah, but SmackDown was a decent show, you know, Tribal Chief, and we started on the show with L LA Night, yeah, and the Tribal Chief, Roman Reigns. And it was, they did, you know, they had cut some good promos on each other. You know what I mean? Um, Roman had some things to say. LA Knight had a whole lot to say. And it was a decent show, you know. It was, um, a decent show leading to Crown Jewel. Just supposedly a lot of uh, major uh, surprise was to happen there, according to the wrestling world. Um, major surprise was to happen at Crown Jewel. I don't, I don't know. But like I said, a lot of people feel like LA Knight ain't gonna win that win that match, man. But um Kevin Owens and Austin Theory said um they had a good match. Decent match. Um uh, Jason on um, Wilder was on that ringside and commentary. Shout out to them. They make a good team too. Very very eagle egotistic and just talk so much. But shout out to those guys, you know, for playing their part. But these are the um it was also the show of last night's SmackDown. Um, like I said, it was decent. Could have been better. But we take what we could get. Hopefully, um, uh, well, I can't even say tonight. This afternoon or morning, sh um, Crown Jewel would, you know, live up to the hype that everybody believed it would. You know? So, we just, I don't know. Like, like the LA night, man, I don't know. They... The hype is definitely there. It seemed like the way he cut his promos, it's like you would think you be like, dang, you would think man, he really sound like he's about to win. Like all of, I mean, for the past what two, three weeks, promos he been cutting on on Roman seemed like he like really confident that he's gonna beat him. Like more confident than any other opponent Roman ever been, like wants to win against. Him. In recent time, you know, so, but like I'm, like I said, like a lot of people feel like, you know, he's not gonna win. I feel like he's not gonna win either. It's just because of, of other things that they got set up for um, Roman. I'm hearing now. I'm hearing that him and Cody, when they do fight again, which they will allegedly, is gonna be a quit match. So. Where does that lead for LA Knight? If he if he end up losing, what would that lead to him? You know, like how would they keep him elevated? You know, he gotta win something. You know, but I don't think he just he just now is just not the time for him to win tonight. Now it could be a plot twist. He could win. He could turn around. And just they just could change change the plans. You know, since Roman gonna take time off anyway. So, you guys let me know what y'all think about all this, man. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and have a good day.